Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the channel again and welcome to our home in sunny Australia. Uh, we're filming outside today, so I'll apologise in advance for the background noise. Uh, we're competing with a few chainsaws from the neighbours and uh, some of the wildlife, including a few cockatoos that are flying over. The reason behind this video, as I mentioned last time around, um, I'm new to biking, or should I say returning to biking after eight or nine years and one of the challenges that I have is the lack of equipment. Now I was lucky enough to secure a really good deal when I purchased the bike um, on a BMW Carbon 7 helmet uh, but uh, what I didn't have was a spare helmet should I want to take out um, a friend or, or even our son who's uh, in his 20s and he's a, a big guy, he's uh, about the same size as me. So I spotted online that Audi have a, a range of budget motorcycle gear. Um, so I went down there, picked up a helmet, uh, just to see out of curiosity um, if it was up to scratch. Uh, and today I'm going to unbox that, take you through some of the features. And um, if you're in the market for a new helmet, perhaps an occasional helmet, it might be something that you'd like to consider. So stick around and we'll unbox the helmet. Thank you. Okay guys, so here's the contents of the box. You get the helmet, a user manual, a helmet bag, and you even get a spare clear visor. If we look at the box, you can see that the helmet comes with an Australian standard certification. And the helmet comes in two models. You get a matte black one, or the version that I've got, which is matte black with gray and white graphics. Looking at helmet, comes fitted standard with a clear visor and an integrated set of drop-down sunglasses. There are air intakes at the front, on the top and exhaust ports at the rear. And we'll flip the helmet over and you can see that it comes with a ratchet type chin strap. Turning the helmet round and there we can see the Australian standard sticker on the rear. So we haven't tried the helmet on the bike yet, so let's go and fire up the bike, put on the helmet and give it a try on the road. So stick around for that. Okay guys, thanks again for tuning in. Um, apologies in advance if the sound quality is not good at all. Uh, I'm not even sure if you can hear this. Uh, I'm using actually my Samsung phone and the uh, headphone and microphone set that comes with that to do the recording. Um, what I would say about the helmet first off, uh, the Audi Torque helmet is uh, it's very very loud I have to say. Um, th that said I'm comparing that with a I'm comparing that with a BMW Carbon 7 helmet that I bought with the bike. Now that helmet cost $1,300 um, retail, I did manage to get a decent uh, discount on that. This helmet that I'm using, um, now that comes in at $80, $80 $79.99 Australian dollars, um, so uh, there's not really any comparison. Uh, what I would say is that, uh, again, it's quite drafty. Uh, the fit isn't great, there is an air dam at the bottom but you can probably see from the video or hopefully see from the video that my uh, my chin actually extends lower than that air dam so it's not really doing much good at all um, and we'll just pull up at the stop and, and off we go so I'm not even sure if you managed to hear the rest of uh, the previous audio um, I'm now on to a hundred stretch, <coughs> excuse me, now on to a hundred stretch, um, so it might be even worse to hear.
<coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of a tickle in my throat there. So I'm doing just about 95 here in 100. And I have to say the wind noise is uh, is particularly bad. It, it, it isn't good at all. Um, I'll try and close some of these vents up. I don't know if that makes much difference. Uh, one thing I would say is that if you can see there is a, a drop down there is a drop down pair of sunglasses um, and they're quite fiddly to use and they're not too good um, once they're down So another point that I would make is with the with the drop down sunglasses when you do drop them down they don't come down far enough and uh, you can see quite a lot of um, normal daylight underneath uh, and that's not good at all to be honest they're just better off not having them there. The fit of the helmet's actually not too bad. Uh, there isn't a pinlock, there isn't a pinlock visor, and you can probably see on the film, on the video, if I breathe quite heavily, it's it's easy to to fog that up. So really, what you need to do is have that vent open, otherwise you're just going to fog up. What I would say is, you know, for $80 the quality isn't that bad. Um, I, I certainly wouldn't be buying this to use full time on the bike. It, it, it's just, I think you could spend the money better, you know, for, there are lots of sort of deals on helmets and for, for $100 more, you know, you could get a pretty good helmet. Um, as an occasional helmet, you know, if you want to take somebody for a, a little ride, then fine. Um, if they're on the back, they're not going to be bothered too much about the sunglasses and um, and also the, uh, you know, the fogging up issue. You know, it's not really an issue to them. Um, yeah, so as an occasional helmet, I... Uh, you know, I'm going to keep it. I won't. I won't take it back and, and try and get a refund. I might as well hang on to it for eighty dollars. Not really too much more to say about this helmet, to be honest. What you get, you know, what's the saying? You get what you pay for. What you see is what you get with it, really. Um, you know, it's it's cheap and cheerful. It, it, it must have a, the right amount of crash protection. Otherwise, it wouldn't be awarded with a an Australian standard so there's no way they can get that without um, you know crash testing a few of these so it's obviously gone through that um, you know so it's obviously gonna help to save your bacon if you go down the road but you know would I buy one for everyday use no certainly not um, I'd rather spend a little bit more money and, 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 and get some something of quality
Um, be interested to see how the the footage is from from this GoPro. Um, well, it's actually not a GoPro. It's uh, it's called a Kaiser Kaiser Bass. Uh, it's a GoPro knockoff. Um, and again, you get what you pay for. I, I do have a, a, a GoPro Hero 7, and that gives fantastic footage. Um, but for this for this knockoff, um, I've got it suction cup to the to the uh, to the windscreen windshield. So if it falls off, it costs me hundred dollars. I don't really care. So again, as I mentioned earlier, there is a heck of a lot of wind noise. I'm sat right on the speed limit here. And um, it is extremely noisy, this helmet. But I guess, you know, stick some earplugs in, which I, I don't have at the moment. Uh, and it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be too bad. And again, as I said, for a pillion, I think it's... Uh, I think it's adequate. One thing I would point out, uh, it has, um, it has, because it's brand new, and it has an horrendous smell of glue. It really does smell, um, which you you don't get on a quality helmet when it's brand new. Now I'm going to give these uh, drop down sunnies a bit of a go again because we've got a bit of sun there. Um, as I said, you do get a bit of light in under the bottom, so they don't give you like the full sun protection, but I guess they're better than nothing. But they are quite fiddly to use. Uh, the BMW Carbon 7 helmet that I have as my, as my main helmet, well, you know, that has integrated sunglasses and um, they're much smoother than that. So I'm going to do a little bit of video here at a slower speed. I'm coming back into, a, into more of a residential area, although they're big country blocks. So keeping the speed down, hopefully you'll be able to hear me more. Um, so my verdict on the helmet is definitely if you're looking for a quality helmet to use every day steer away from this don't waste your money if you're looking for a helmet just to give somebody a bit of a, a spin around the block on your bike then I think it's more than adequate Okay, that's been another video from me, the Boomerang Biker. Thanks for visiting the channel. Um, hopefully we get some good news on COVID-19 lockdown tomorrow and we can do some pro proper footage. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.